and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> On this video, I want to talk about the cost of an electric bike. And more about the average cost of an electric bike. I get asked quite often uh, what the prices are for uh, electric bikes. People that are not familiar at all, you know, and they want to purchase a bike, they just wonder how much do they have to spend on a bike. And so, I mean, like anything else, it depends. There's a lot of factors that go into it, but I'm going to give you a general uh, cost of a bike. Now, it depends on what type of bike you're getting, first of all. What do you want? So, let's break it into four categories. You got your standard e-bike. And then you've got your folding e-bike. You have your cargo e-bike. And then you have your off-road or off-roading e-bike. And that generally is one that's going to go faster. It doesn't necessarily mean you just, just have to do off-roading on it, but um, if you want to uh, go a little faster. But anyway, uh, so that's the four categories that I would break it down to. And then, on average, the cost would be like for a standard bike it would be anywhere from one thousand to three thousand dollars now this isn't counting sale prices or anything like that this is just a MSRP uh, price it's not a uh, on sale price so you could do better but I'd say one to three thousand for an average bike I'd say typically you're probably going to spend about two thousand dollars on a pretty decent bike and uh, Okay, thank you. And then for your folding bike, you're going to spend... You're going to spend uh, probably $1,500 to $3,000. On average, $1,500 being your lower end. And if you want to get a little bit higher quality uh, folding bike on the higher end of the average price, then you're going to pay uh, about $3,000. So the average average on these bikes would be right in the middle. So if you want the average um, uh, folding bike, it's probably gonna cost you around 2,250, I'd say. And then you've got your uh, cargo bike. Now the cargo bike, these can be a little pricier depending on uh, what kind of cargo bike you get but you can expect to pay anywhere from uh, $1,800 on the lower end to uh, somewhere around $8,000 on the high end this is an average uh, you can go a lot higher I'm sure but this is just an average lower end to higher end and so again on this one you'd probably go somewhere in the middle for a pretty decent cargo bike, um, I'd say you're probably going to have to spend, you know, one that can carry a lot of weight, etc., and 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 handle uh, a lot of cargo. Uh, you're probably going to look at, I'd say, upwards of four thousand dollars probably to get a pretty decent one. Then you got your off-roading bikes. So these are the ones that are going to go uh, beyond the class three uh, 
So you're typically going to get these bikes a lot of times they're going to go like 30 plus miles an hour. And uh, these can range you uh, anywhere from about $2,000 to $5,000. And you probably have to spend around $3,500, I'd say, to get something uh, that's right in the meaty middle there of that average. And that would be basically something like what I'm riding at right at the moment. The Aerial Rider Grizzly, this would be right in there. This one would fit right in that category. So uh, this bike is going for, when I bought it, 3300 It has been on sale recently for 3100 I do not know if that sale is still happening or not, but this would give you an idea of what the average off-roading bike would, would probably cost you. And you might be able to get some of these bikes less than that if you get them on sale. Um, or you can get sometimes a discount too if you buy uh, multiple bikes. If you buy two, they generally give you a few hundred extra dollars off, that kind of thing. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.